Hey, what's up you guys? It's Bjorn from Triassic Power Traps again and today we are going to take a look at the traps long get out is gonna correct juveniles that are inside the hatchery currently um, as you can see this is the tank below that's getting ready for them I added a new plant that I found in a pond nearby uh, I put it in quarantine for like three weeks to make sure that there are not like that there were no uh, nasties hatching from it and actually nothing hatched from it so uh, there were no eggs on it so I added it to this tank and I'm pretty curious what it is not completely sure what it is but it's an interesting little plant really nice little green plant let's get back to the long ikadoutis um, we are going to feed them some blood worms and as well we will take a look at the boost of Flandra lab um, where I'm trying to grow some immersed booster philandras, aquatic plants and uh, it's different but it's nice to have them um, if you already watched the previous videos uh, it's been, the lab has been doing really well so we're going to take a look at that but first we are going to feed the longicodotus some bloodworms because these guys are pretty hungry and they're actually already feeding off the plants right now as you can see so they are pretty hungry so let's dunk in some blood worms and it's the first time they are going to meet the blood worm as a food source so i'm really wondering how they will react um let's find a spot where i can comfortably drop them over there possibly yes well that should be enough for now Let's see how long it takes until everything is gone. <laughs> it looks really funny when traps are dragging around the uh, blood worms. <laughs> look at that. Doesn't that look adorable? <laughs> dragging around the worms. Oh damn, they're getting so active right now. And it's gone. <laughs> oh lord. So hungry right now. That's just like instant like gone. <laughs> oh look at these guys. <laughs> That's so funny. Never seen that before. Like immediate reaction. And some of them actually don't have some of the worms, so let's add some more worms and let's see how long it takes before those are gone. Let's see. Let's dunk in some more worms. Wow, it's getting really crowded over here. <laughs> Okay, let's zoom away for like, let's say, 10 seconds. Uh, some of the triumphs aren't engaging yet. Still, you know, chilling around near the leaves. Okay, that should be 10 seconds. Oh, there are still plenty of them there. Uh, I think most of them have actually taken a blood worm right now and most of them are actually swimming upside down right now. It's really funny. Oh, let me get the zoom back. Look at them. <laughs> Such happy little guys. Look at them. Truly happy with their little blood worms. So much activity going on right now. All of them are eating blood worms right now. It just took like several minutes for them to start feeding on them. Um, I'm not going to give them too much blood worms um, as it is more of a snack. Um, but you can definitely give them some blood worms. They truly enjoy blood worms as you can see. Enjoying the blood worms. Little blood worm gang. <laughs> Sorry guys, zoom is 
sometimes a little bit terrible. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, give them some time with the blood worms. We're going to take a look at the boost lab and after that we are going to take a look again at the triops, uh, if the worms are gone or not, and see how they finish their meals. So, let's move over to the boost lab. So that's what the boost lab currently looks like and uh, there has been going on a lot of progress most of the plants actually have been growing out pretty well and to be honest I'm so happy with this project it's so fun uh, as you can see I'm actually trying to keep a lot of uh, booster philandra plants immersed inside this uh, planted immersed tank like a tropical cabin and it works really well um, here you can see the temperature, current temperature is about 25-26 degrees Celsius and the humidity should be about 85% which is pretty high but that's necessary to keep the plants healthy as they are uh, living uh, or occurring in a uh, tropical climate. Uh, these plants are originating from Borneo, it's an island uh, in Indonesia, it's um, endemic to that island only so it's quite a rare plant and someone like someday I kind of fell in love with this aquatic plant it's a really slow growing jewel it can get like really iridescent colors beautiful iridescent colors um, they can turn metallic blue purple as well just a beautiful plant so let's take a look guys how everything is looking currently over here we have some Bucephalandra catagangs they are pretty dark, really like the color on this boost plant. Over here we have a broadleaf green, unknown boost, unknown one as well, broadleaf, some gang, and some other boost of phalandras. Some really bright green ones in the back as well. And some beautiful coin shaped ones. I really like these as well. These boosters. And over here we have some deep purple. Inside a large pot. I'm also trying to grow myself some duckweed. <laughs> Just helping to get like... Uh, I don't know. It kind of looks fun. You know, I just want a little bright green oasis inside this uh, tank and uh, after that I want you know a lot of uh, boost of philandras growing above it I think it's gonna look pretty I also have some Anubias oh this is a tiny little beautiful Anubias and we have the golden coin Anubias over here beautiful as well um, this is a little trial, um, it's a uh, large leaved booster philandra that I'm trying to grow up in the air. It's new and uh, I, I just wanted to try it if it's possible. Same thing uh, counts for this one. Uh, I attached it to a little rock and uh, actually it's been, it just attached to the rock with a new root. So I'm really happy with that to see that and it's also shooting some smaller shoots next to it so maybe I can get like two more plants out of this one or just leave it there uh, as it actually has its own big pot I expect this booster flannel to become pretty big so that's why I gave it its own pot bigger pot because I'm using like the small pots over here and I'm using the big pots like these ones over here this is some Taiwan moss growing up really clean, all J free and I definitely think it's looking beautiful currently so that's about it guys, oh I also added some kind of large java fern, it's really large 
and uh, just trying to get some new leaves on it it's uh, it came with uh, some other plants for free basically and I want to check out if it also is going to be growing immersed uh, and some moss growing over here so that's it the boost lab doing great um, let's move over to the juvenile longicodotus traps again and uh, let's see how they finish their little worms so we are back at the longicodotus and this particular trap is swimming circles with this little worm it just looked funny <laughs> silly little creatures um, let's take a look at the other ones Let's get some brightness in here. No, they haven't finished yet. Most of them did, but I think they grabbed some new ones. But, well, I'm happy to see that they're actually enjoying the worms. Really hungry, and that's a good end of the day snack for them. Uh, maybe I want to add another Elodia plant because this is just, you know, kind of a sad looking tiny bit of plant and they are actually eating from it as well. So I'm just wanting to add another one maybe. Um, as I said, really healthy little triops. This one is still circling around. So much going on in this little tank. <laughs> So that's it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the little video, the update video, and um, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe to the Triassic Park Trials channel, you can also find me on Instagram as uh, Triassic under at Triassic underscore Park, um, you can also find me on Facebook as Triassic Park Triops. feel free to add me on the other channels, and I hope to see you next time guys, I hope you have a nice day, see you next time.